This foundation is in the color I don't know how I got acne. Just kidding, it's just me with no makeup. Hi, how are you? I just did my nails and now I'm really paranoid about touching things. If you're new here, hi, I'm Nikki Limo, nice to meet you. What goes on on this channel? This, I guess. So this tag was going on on the internet about a month ago and I just like to do things when they're not relevant anymore. But in the spirit of Halloween, I thought I'd do the how I did my makeup in high school challenge because it's very scary. <laughs> A couple weeks is gonna be my birthday and I'm also entering a new decade of my life and people have been saying things like oh my god do you feel old <laughs> do you wish that you were turning 21 also apparently whoever I'm talking to is in the middle of having a stroke oh my god <laughs> you're so old and I'm like no honestly no I would never go back to being in high school and I would never go back to I don't think any age I'm what you call a late bloomer and I'm sure you may have seen a lot of other people's tags on this we did not have YouTube back in high school so I had to get all of my makeup tutorials from a tiny little article in a magazine and they were it was just so hard to follow back then so here it is how I did my makeup in high school let's go ah! Mac was the only makeup brand back then. It was pretty much you only went to Mac. Maybe Benefits. Mac and Benefits were the two you went to. I almost thought I didn't have any more Mac makeup, but then I remembered that I have this whole bag of makeup that I won't throw away because I feel bad throwing away almost full bottles of makeup. And look, I have the foundation I used to wear in high school. I mean, the type, not the actual one, but this was pretty close. I think I got this when I was 19, so a couple of years after. Which I don't know if it's safe to put on my face. I don't even think it's the same consistency after all the- Oh, Jesus. We already committed to this. So as you can see, it's a very oily consistency, which is just perfect for covering up all your acne and also reproducing acne. Oh, God. Oh, I can just feel- Oh, the cake. Oh, the cake. I hate foundation so much, and this is why. It feels like I'm just putting cream cheese on my face. This is what you call full coverage. Oh, boy, that is heavy. How did I walk around all day? How did I keep my head up? This is so heavy. Okay, we didn't have beauty blenders back then. We had these weird, gross triangle sponges. Next, I would use a very thick MAC concealer that would cover any trouble areas. And I pretty much used that like a second foundation. It was bad, guys. I think if you went like this with your finger, you would just peel off a whole face. So I don't have that MAC concealer, but I do have this Kevin Aquan, a lot more expensive, and that I also never use because it's so thick that I just, see, so thick that I just can't ever get myself to use it. Okay. Fuck, I don't wanna do this. I had like pimples everywhere and I would be like, oh, everywhere. Needs concealer everywhere. How about everywhere? You don't even have wrinkles in high school, but you know, you still gotta go under your eyes and just put this shit everywhere. I don't think this is ever coming off. I think my pores are going to be permanently sealed. This is so scary. Why do people do this? Why did I do this? Why was I a person that did this? And there we go. Oh my God, so scary. I look like a plastic mannequin. Thing. Very plastic face, much tiny eyes. I thought this was so attractive. Then I would load on powder. I found this MAC powder that I must have gotten a little bit after high school. I would just load a full brush. I wouldn't even like really blow on it or tap on it. I would just put put it everywhere. It would just be powder city. Oh boy, I'm gonna be beautiful. Do you have a boner? This is like high school. Now the fun part. So back then I used to use one eyeshadow. It was black and sparkly. It was from Benefits and it was a loose black eyeshadow that they stopped making. However, after they stopped making it, I went and found a similar MAC version that's like this. I can't even read what color it is. Oh, it's called Black Tide. Also, I used my finger to apply eyeshadow. So we're gonna do that. I would try to like wing it out. It didn't matter if it went out to the edge like this because that just made it look better, obviously. So I would start in the corner and then I would just like <laughs> blend it. I blended it. Is this a good 
blender. This color is also called I Didn't Make the Cheerleading Squad Black, and it severely changed the course of my high school social career. I'm so not used to using my fingers now. This is what we get. Okay, then I would use this exact eyeliner, this Bad Gal by Benefits, and I would just go all under my eye. I liked it because it was smudgy. Again, I just smudged everything with my finger. If you can't smudge it, I don't touch it. That was my slogan back then. It wasn't. Please like me. Then for the top, I used an eyeliner by Hard Candy that was like a black glittery eyeliner. I don't have that eyeliner. I have a similar color in Urban Decay's Oil Slick. Pretty much the same. It was like a black glitter pencil eyeliner. I would just put it and smudge it. Yeah, like that. Wow, this looks so much like how I used to do my makeup in high school. Then of course, your look is not complete until you've done your waterline and I would use a normal black pencil eyeliner and just go ahead and get that done. That's exactly it. Our look is almost done now because we did nothing to our eyebrows back then and we did not have blush or contour or any of that stuff going on. But I did use a highlighter called High Beam from Benefits. I still have it in here. Put it right under my eyebrow and then a little on my nose and maybe a little on my cheeks. Again, I just use my fingers for everything. I didn't hear about brushes till like college. To top it off, I used to use CoverGirl mascara, but I don't have CoverGirl, so I'm just gonna use the one I just normally use now. There's nothing special about the mascara. It's just normal. Oh my god, I wish I was 15. There, all right, perfect. Ugh. We were pretty much done here. All we had to do was put lip gloss on. Back then I used a lip gloss from MAC called Lip Glass and it was clear and it, the goal was just to get your lips as shiny as possible. I don't have that lip gloss, but I have this knockoff from Wet n Wild that is I think better, but it was only a dollar. Yeah, I look exactly like high school me. Oh, that's weird. This is weird and trippy. Weird. Okay, so we're looking at pretty much our finished look here. I'm just gonna get a little bit more into the aesthetic. Yep, that was basically exactly it. Then you had to take the antennas. These were like, whoa. And then these side thingies. I still do this. And then I just like, you know, like you just woke up like this. And then let me just change. I don't have my spike belt or my dickies or my steel toe boots like I used to have, but I do have, huh? Oh, yes, baby. Oh, yes. How big is your boner now? Also, also, also. I wore a lot of bracelets. A lot, like a lot more than this, but there were dingles, and then I had the like rubbery ones. You know the rubber ones. You know the rubber ones. I used to have one of those like ball chain necklaces. I still have it somewhere in this house. I have those rubber bracelets and I have a ball chain necklace. I've used it in videos before. I just don't know where it is. But I do have this, which is weirdly back in style now. And boom. Snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, there goes gravity. Choke. He's so mad, but he won't. <laughs> High school me. Yeah, so I was gonna go to that lag wagon concert after school. You wanna go with or what? Or you just wanna blaze it? God damn, that was a lot of face makeup. This look is 90% face makeup. There you go. This is the how I did my makeup in high school look. And hope you enjoyed that. Anyway, subscribe so you don't miss any of this scary stuff. And please like me. Vanilla vodka. My favorite spirit. <laughs>